there was nothing anyone could do to save this film. He just took the job, got his money, and booked. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, that, that's just the whole point I want to get into. Who hired him? That's right. Jeff Johns hired him. Why? Jeff John sees what Marvel does. Let me tell you, I'm saying it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get off the stick. As long as Marvel Studios is around, all of the people who have an issue with anything coming from whatever director, whatever profile, whatever personal agenda, your problem isn't them. Your problem is Marvel Studios, and that's the bottom line. You cannot compete, cannot compare, and you cannot distract from Marvel <sighs> Studios. Now, the problem with that is, and what I'm saying, because I don't want to sound like a guy on the pulpit, Marvel Studios is what Marvel Studios is. What you should do is go forward and try to make the best product that you can. Ray Fish's comments about Josh. Ray Fish's comments about Jeff hiring Josh. And ladies and gentlemen, why do you think John's hired Josh? He made the Avengers. But then when Josh came in, what's some of the rumors? What's some of the things you're hearing, Pete? Josh made some comments about the way Zach was building his movie. Now, he has an opinion like everybody else but if you die hard Snyder fans don't like what don't blame Josh then Zach should have made BVS successful Zach should have made while in production Justice League successful don't blame Josh don't blame Marvel Studios I mean don't do that that's not yeah, right I mean yeah they're gonna there's gonna be people that blame him for the decision making in that film, for but see once again, why do you think? Film. Why do you think Jeff Johns hired that, Josh but... Whedon? I wouldn't have hired Josh Whedon only because Josh, your style, and what you guys do over at Mobile Studios, including the Russos, the Russos couldn't have fixed or adapted Zack Snyder's style. Yeah. 